Welcome back for another painting video where we're going to be painting some 90s infused goth orcs. So the inspiration for this colour scheme comes from the rule book itself. Taken from the inside cover of the rule book, this picture depicts a mob of goth orcs taking on the ultramarines. And it's going to be this very mob I'm going to look to recreate. So without further ado, we'll start with some wag flesh. The next base coat is going to be Scarlet Red. Going to be hitting all the shoulder areas, the axe handles, gun, and some horns. We're going to be using stonewall grey to base coat any areas that are going to be white. So like a heathen I'm going to use rune lord brass straight out of the pots and we're going to base coat all the areas that are going to be a gold or a brassy colour. So one of my favourite all time colours here, Beastie Brown, and we're going to come in to all areas that are going to be a wood effect. So this is going to be on any of the grenades that the orcs are carrying. So now we're going to come back in with a black and we're going to use this to create our checkered board effect on the miniature. So once all the base coats are finished, I'm going to come in with an Agrax Earth Shade wash. So once the wash is dry, we're going to come in with our first highlight, and that's going to be the Warboss Green to the flesh areas. Keeping the original colour in the recesses of the miniature. The first highlight to any red areas is going to be a scarlet blood. The second highlight to the green areas is going to be a scar snake green. And then the final highlight to the flesh area is going to be an odd green camo. And we just only pick out the raised areas here with this color. Final highlight to any red areas is going to be a mix of flat yellow and scarlet blood. Just a 50-50 mix, just to create a nice orange colour. I'm just going to use that to highlight the red areas. So 
So where we used a stonewall grey, we're going to come in with a dead white. So to highlight any metallic areas like the gun or axes, we're going to come in with a Vallejo metal colour steel. So just to reinforce any brass coloured areas, I'm going to come back over with the Rune Lord Brass. No second edition model is ready without a Goblin Green base. So we're going to come in with a Vallejo colour, game colour, Goblin Green. So perhaps the trickiest part of this whole painting session is to do a little bit of freehand on the white panel at the back here where we're going to put in a little um, buffalo horns. I'm just going to free the hand that in. Just being careful, taking your time and just drawing it in to start with. So once you've drawn it in, it's a simple case of just coming in now and blocking in any colours and highlighting it up as necessary. And then you've got your finished model. And here is the final results. Honestly, an extremely simple paint scheme. No tough techniques involved, just simple layering and highlighting. Um, an absolute joy to paint. Fantastic models. These are some of my favorite orc models ever made. Um, they didn't quite make it into the uh, second edition. Uh, they got pushed out by the the uh, the old plastic the plastic monopose goths uh, from the second edition box. But I think these old Road Trader ones were far superior. Please guys, as always, leave some comments below, let me know what you think, but in the meantime, stay safe and I'll catch you in the next video. Catch you later.